All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Looking at Jasmine. So Jasmine still holding on to support here. Uh, it remains to be seen if we're actually going to get back up here and try to get back over the 786 here at 54 and get some momentum back on Jasmine back to the upside. Uh, so just kind of watch this 475 area. As long as we hold the support at this 618, uh, then we still have a shot to try to move higher or consolidate here and then move higher at some point. But you can see once you lose this 618 here, uh, it's going to get pretty ugly because you can see all the support back here. And, you know, after this massive drop, the fact that we got back over and held it at support shows how strong of a support area that actually is. And if we end up losing it now, then there's a potential that we're just going to start just stair stepping down on Jasmine here. But like I always say, if you're long on Jasmine, if that is the case, and you know, all these prices, 4.3, 3.9, 3.5, 2.9. Are, are great buying opportunities, great DCA opportunities if you're long on Jasmine, of course. But as of now, I would just watch 4.7. And we need to hold 4.7 to stay alive. And we need to get back over 5.4 to have any kind of momentum, like I said, back up. As of now, you know, we're below all of our moving averages. They're curling down. We have a bearish cross. The um, You can see the 21 is actually crossing below the 50 as we speak and the Heikinashi candles are still printing red so uh, until these uh, flip over to green uh, we're still trending down at the moment so we'll just take it day to day like we always do and we'll see what happens so yeah with that said not financial advice thanks for watching everyone peace out mm -hmm.